Hey. Hi. Welcome to Bunker Branding. Welcome to Off the Ranch. We have big news. We do. Real big news. And the title and thumbnail, not clickbait, it's for real. There is a new owner of Bunker Branding. Up until now, it's just been us. We started this in our garage. When was that? 2017. Five years ago. Almost five years ago. That's crazy. So we started it five years ago. August. And in our garage. And we were just going to sell some old t-shirts that we had had another company make, but hadn't sold very good. So we're like, we'll just do it ourselves. And they sold out in like a day. <laughs> and we were like, oh, we have to pack up 2,000 t-shirts. Yeah, it was, it was a little intense. <laughs> we didn't realize how strong the demolition was. So we hired some high school boys to work and they're coming to our house every day after school. And then I realized high school boys at my house, it's a lot. <laughs> and so we're like, they were all nice kids. They were, they were great. They were just in our house. Yeah. And so we're like, we need to rent a space. And so we rented a warehouse in town. We found this warehouse and rented it in town and it was bigger than what we thought we needed, but we filled it up in, I would say, I would say less than a year. It was like, oh, we're, we're, we were glad that we had that much space. Yeah. Like, so even, even when we moved out of the garage and into that space, we were planning on having someone print shirts, buying them, and then we were just fulfilling orders. Them and fulfilling yeah, orders. we were just getting stock, putting it on shelves, and then fulfilling orders. We were not printing, we had no intention of printing. So then we did that for a few months, and then shortly after that, we were like, let's just buy it. Yeah, we could control the everything way better. Like it was, it stunk having to wait on printers. Like we have people ready to buy things. We have ideas that we have and we can't because the print shop is like, ah, it'll take us three weeks. And we're like, ah, so we're like, let's get a printer and then we can do it all. And then we learned that and how to do all that. And then we got another printer and then we got an embroidery machine and then we got folding machines and we got sticker machine and just kept growing it. And then we were freaking packed. We got a, we got a, like a temporary building outside of that. We got a bunch of containers, shipping containers to hold everything. And we're like bursting at the seams and then we're like, let's build this. So we built Bunker Branding 2.0. And now it's kind of bursting at the seams. We have shipping containers outside this full of overstock. And well, we started Link Active in the middle of that. Started Link Active. And Basically. now we're doing something else that is going to not help us uh, at all with the being overflowing out of this building. But it's gonna be pretty awesome. Like I said, there is a new owner of Bunker Branding. But Meredith and I are still owners. We have just brought on a co-owner. And someone that you've probably met before. They just arrived, you ready? Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go meet your, whoa! Hey! hey. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, dog? I brought you something. Yeah, this is pretty nice. So, <laughs> Roman and Brittany are here. Roman is a Toyota fan, as am I. And Roman, for his first day on the job as a new co-owner of Bunker Branding, got us a little gift. Got them a gift. But this gift is not for me, yeah. Not for me. It's for you guys. That's right. So we are actually giving away a Toyota. So I have an 81 Toyota. Roman has an 80 and an 88 Toyota. We were big fans, and then this was one that we both tried to get uh, before we bought ours, but the guy said no, he wasn't selling. And then he reached back out. And it's an 83. It's an 83. This is my birth year. This is my, my favorite this truck. This is a good uh, truck. Short bed. It's Army green. Army green. Lifted. Big tires. Sunroof. Power steering, which mine does not have. It, it's really got it all. It's got it's it all. It's Cadillac of Toyota. It is a <laughs> nice Toyota. We're actually giving it away. We are launching some new merch. We're doing this Demolicious shirt. We're doing this Small More shirt. And we're doing these beautiful ladies over here have the... Yeah, the smiley face with the helmet, with the smile more, bunker branding, some ammo, and a peace sign. It is the collaboration tee. That's yeah. cool. So anyone getting any of these shirts, you're entered into win this truck. More info on that later. But how'd you get in here? Oh, simple. Just sent, sent it? Yeah, just the door's open. Right <laughs> we actually, had, we, we had to, we like tried it. You can watch it on his channel. He made a video of us trying to get in. We had to take the doors off the hinges to get in, but it does fit. It is just the right size to squeeze in here. 
but it is a it, solid truck. It, there's barely anything in this room that looks more bunker than this truck. That is true. Like, it looks it looks more bunker than we I do. Need an all black collab logo right here. Oh, we should put a sticker on it. Would that look cool? That logo. Let's do it. Yeah, we I'll could. Be right back. But not. With yeah, the make that happen. Black. This truck looks really small outside, but really big inside a building. So good. Very, it should be in that large. corner. We could shut it. Like, like, literally, it should be there, and you should have. Until the giveaway, you just leave it in here. Leave it in here. And then the tables go around it. No, nah, this is y'all's truck to drive around while y'all are in Texas. This is your Texas truck until someone wins it. And this is actually a worldwide competition. I'll, I'll give you more info later, but like. Anyone can win this, and if you're not in the U.S., we'll just send you how much? Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen k cash. So these things are about. This thing's worth about fifteen thousand dollars. So you can either have the truck or fifteen k in the U.S. You can decide. Outside the U.S., we just got to send you cash because we're not going to ship this thing to, you know. Honestly, it's Mozambique. Worth a lot more now because it's full of. Oh, it's full merch. of merch. I'm just going to keep filling it up. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be funny. If we ship it full of merch. We're going to go rip up this truck in the mud and see how she does in a little bit. We gotta figure out how to get out of this room first. Good parking though. I'll nice work. Nice work. I got it. About to put a bunch of carbon monoxide back in here. This thing starts right up. Ready? As an 83, that's a 40 year old truck. Almost. Taking the doors off over there because it will not. We tried for like 30 minutes to get it through with the doors on and we're like, we're gonna ruin these. So we took them off and it barely fits in without doors. Whew. We got it outside. Easy as that. Yeah, buddy. Good job, dude. What's up, dogs? We just got down here from Utah. Am I in the vlog? Yeah, you're in the vlog. Hey, wait, I get a hug, right? I've got the Yeah, shirt on. bring it on. Let's Dang. do this. <laughs> dude, this you need, is like... You just came just to see us tearing our doors off to get the truck out? Yeah, well, I don't know. I'm like, I'm going to pass out. My, leg, my, <laughs> my legs are getting weak. <laughs> Come inside. We got air conditioning. All right. <laughs> Bunker branding. Bunker branding is our baby. It's been that way a long time. We've worked super hard to... Learn all this stuff, figure everything out, do all the shipping, the fulfillment, the, man, all the inventory, all the, like, there's tons of, like, software stuff we've had to learn, tons of just workflow stuff we've had to learn. It's been wild, and then we had to learn how to print shirts, and how to print a bunch of shirts, and then we had to learn how to embroider, and get the right machines, and then we do, like, some, we have the big printers, the screen printing machines. Hey. Hey, do you need an office? Uh, I, can I have my own office? Yeah, I mean, you should actually, have your own. I actually don't even have an office, but like, Mara has an office here. But we can get you an office. Okay. All right. Man, that'd be huge. Yeah, we'll look into it. Just enough, like a laptop. Perfect. So the screen printers out there are for printing like big orders. Like when Kentucky Ballistics sold his put a thumb in it shirts, like everyone wanted to support the dude. And so we had to print just tons of them and that's where those are made they're made on this machine because it just goes around and it's just like a little assembly line that makes a t-shirt but then we have the dtg room direct to garment and it's just like a computer printer so you put a t-shirt in there and it just prints and it's good for like small batch stuff or really fast stuff you don't have to make a screen it's like we learned all those things with this warehouse now for those who don't know roman atwood has smile more which has been a wildly successful brand for him he's he does so good and it's it's got a really good message behind it, which is why parents think it's cool and kids think it's cool and people like us think it's cool because like everyone likes that message, smile more. And I've talked to Roman forever about joining Bunker Branding, so they were just doing fulfillment on their merchandise and they were doing it all out of their house too. And it was just his, he was just doing smile more stuff and they were just fulfilling. They weren't printing or embroidering or anything like that. And so I was like, man, let's join forces and put it all together because Smile More is a huge successful brand. Bunker Branding is a huge successful business. Let's put it all together and make magic happen. Let's make some history. And so Roman and I have been kicking this idea around for a long time, how we're actually going to do it. And the best way is for Roman to be a co-owner. So I'm super pumped that he is joining Bunker like hardcore. Roman Atwood is a part of Bunker Branding now, which is awesome. And even better, he brought a Toyota truck down to give away to you guys to really launch this big merger of Bunker Branding and Smile More. So we're going hard and I'm gonna give one of you guys a Toyota because they're the best little trucks ever. And uh, I also modified mine recently. You're really gonna like what I did to it. It'll be on Demolition Ranch soon. You'll see. Oh my gosh, y'all are so darn cute. I messed up. Golly. Messed up. My face is gonna be Golly, <laughs> so cute. Meredith and I never do cute stuff like that. <laughs> hey. Hey. 
Did you know that the ranch tang is also getting delivered today? It's finished. They're done. It's ready for Cletus and Cars, which is next week. Yeah, that's, I don't know why that keeps happening, but every time we like barely, barely make it in time for Cletus and Cars. So they're gonna do a test trip in the parking lot today. And then it like ships out in a couple days. That's crazy. Are you excited? So like, excited. She doesn't care. I just can't. She doesn't care. Like I tell her, yeah, it's a diesel Mustang Ranchero, and she's like, I don't care. No, it does look cool. It does look cool. It's cooler than the El Cromino. Okay. Like way cooler. Yeah. Crowd pleaser. Hey, will you go mudding in a Toyota pickup? You've never been mudding before, have you? How can you say you're a Texan from Arkansas? Sure, if you've never even been mudding. School. Hey guys, we're uh, doing photos back here. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to convince this girl to go mudding in a truck. Oh yeah, no, you, you are. There's no. It's gonna be great. I yeah. didn't say I wouldn't. I said I would drive. You in, Brittany? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, as long as we get to sit inside the cab with the windows with up. The windows up? Yes. No, you can't mud with yeah, windows no, up. Have to go buy boots. All right, we can get boots and then you can go mudding. Boots with the fur. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna go mudding in the two Toyotas. The girls, I think, are gonna drive one, and Roman and I'll drive the other. Together. Which one do y'all want? The green one or the white one? Green one. It has power steering. That's oh. <laughs> they also have bigger tires, so they probably will get stuck less likely. We'll see. My prediction: the girls are gonna be terrible at mudding. <laughs> now I'm probably gonna roll this thing or something. Stall it out. We're gonna start in two-wheel drive. I have not ever been mudding in a Toyota pickup, so let's see how it goes. I think the girls are in, yeah, they, they're gonna be in two also because they don't know how to switch to four. I'm glad you know how to drive one. <laughs> you have to really pump it. <laughs> it's not locking. <laughs> oh, we never told them how to do the parking brake. I bet they don't, they can't figure out what the parking brake is. Okay, is there a parking brake? Yeah, this. This. Haha, <laughs> good call. Woo. Yeah, I might want to put our seatbelts on. Toyotas have a parking brake right here. So that's off. That's on. I bet they have no idea how to take that off. <laughs> you thought you were stuck. So Meredith's driving. Now Meredith. That truck looks good. It's a good looking truck. What the heck? Meredith's first car was a standard. So she's good at driving a stick. Ooh, revving it too. We're ready. Oh, giddy up. <laughs> on here. Yeah, well, you want the windows up. Pop your, uh, pop your sunroof. Yeah, no, I think, I think it's. A little air in there. And I'm you need to do a girls things. first guys mud bog right now. Uh, you got parking brake off? Yes. That lever? Okay. Hey, cool. we're smart. Just making sure. Yeah. We're going to start in two wheel drive and just see if we get stuck and then we'll flip to four. Okay. Wait, this has four wheel drive? Oh, what is that thing? <laughs> it's probably nothing. Truck. You're already stuck. She doesn't know how to get unstuck. <laughs> You're terrible at this. Should I get out and push? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give her a little bump. <laughs> Good. What happened? Get out and push. I, I guess stuck. Oh, the hub's locked? No, it's not in four wheel drive. We'll kick it in four for you. Now we gotta clean what it. What are you doing? I'm locking you on four wheel drive. You should be good now. All right, Mary, try it now. Is it in? Yeah, you're moving. You're in gear for sure. If she gets stuck, I'm gonna try to whip and throw mud <laughs> on him. Cause she went back to two. She's gonna get stuck, dude. I hope she gets stuck. I mean, there's a good chance. It sinks down there at the bottom. As long as she don't stop, she'll be all right. Yeah. She's she's pushing it. Oh, she's doing she's good. She's pushing it. She's doing really well. All right, get stuck right there. Come on. It's like tacky now. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Brittany's head's bouncing around the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing's got 
got it, dude. It's just got it. It's hard to argue with this many ponies, dude. Mm -hmm. That's power. That's real power. Good job, girls. See if you can get her stuck again. I have to be responsible now. Okay, we'll let Brittany do it then. <laughs> I just want them to get stuck down in the mud and then I want to whip around and throw mud all at them. But now they're not getting stuck. Go one more time and just see if you can get stuck. No reason. Will she get stuck? No, she's going she's ripping hard. it, yeah. dude. She's, she knows how to not get stuck. She's got it. Oh, oh, she's on to you, dude. Hold on, I'm gonna she's throw on. right through Ricky's window right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, ready, ready? It's gonna be all right. Oh, no. Man. You try to get her stuck and we <laughs> got stuck. I'm gonna turn the hubs on. Better? That was really good. Yeah. I saw mud. He was trying to get you stuck so that he could come and like spray all with mud. Yeah. But now he got That's stuck. That's what we were kind Boyfriend? No. You want one? No. I'll be him. <laughs> I like girls in trucks, especially tiny trucks. <laughs> You're doing Am great. I doing it right? You're doing great. <laughs> I'd say send it a little harder though. Just step on the gas a little more. With the clutch in or out? Uh, out. Out? Yeah, so you get the wheels turning. Okay. <laughs> this is a rough ride in here and like hit the ceiling. That truck looks I might have really given Mare some bad advice. What'd you say? I just said send it. Hey, send it a little does harder. Does she have a seatbelt on? In case, uh, she in does. Case I, they roll? I saw her. Okay. I'm in four now. I'm trying to burn out. It doesn't like doing this. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. The second I touch it, the exhaust comes off. Yeah, I mean, look what's look what's going on down there. Oh, I'm like, stop! You're about to tear it off. Yeah, it just needs a clamp. Yeah, it's good to go. How did that fall off like that? Just try slid backwards. Yeah. It sounds sick though. It just sounds better without hey, the exhaust. Can just, if we can just pull this thing out, just roll it like that. Yeah, because it's. I don't think it's hanging, is it? Oh yeah, the hanger totally broke. So we just need to pull it out. This thing has a glass back on it. Yeah. That's why it sounds so good. That's hilarious. I knocked the hanger off so we can just take the whole exhaust out. It's super hot. Alright, back it up. It's super hot, dude. It's super hot. <laughs> it's super hot. Yeah. Hey! An improvement for sure. I swear the girls did that. 
The girls did that. I just came out. You mess yourself up, man? Huh? You mess yourself up? Yeah. Not bad. That is the soup. It sounds good now. I love it. as good as his. I think we need to cut the exhaust off. Sounds good, but not like that one. the exhaust just a, you did it a favor you know it sounds good that was pretty impressive like I've, I've never been more proud that you are my wife like I'm a happy man even burning out the El Camino yeah, that was pretty cool hey Roman might need those keys yeah. <laughs> my wife she's awesome certified bad a all right, Roman and I are gonna go rip him a little bit more now. <laughs> this thing is so loud now and it's so much better like this. It's just got a glass pack and then it ends. That is hilarious. All the nuts flying off. Heading to Holden Bros now. We're gonna take, they're gonna take the ranch tank for the first rip. You guys got them to a certain amount of subs and I said if you got them there, that I would let them do the first test burnout. So I'm gonna let them do a little burnout today and we'll see if the ranch tank can do ranch things. started on video it was not firing on two out of eight cylinders so it was like not running very smooth now it's like so smooth baby's bottom all the way we're just gonna clip baby's bottom all the way <laughs> Told Willie to save some chicks for the rest of us. It got me hot and bothered. That sounded good. Felt good. That sounded dope banging off the rev limiter, right? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be good. So this is a totally stock 6.0 power stroke, except for some minor outside mods and a tune. They're all internally, all totally stock. We want to just run it stock in the first burnout competition so that we can upgrade it on the next one and make it bananas. So we're probably like 350 horsepower and then like six, 700 torque is what I'm guessing. And a lightweight car with tiny Mustang tires. Love it. 
It's actually pretty clean too. Yeah, I think we gotta send it with the, that. Looks good. The official collab. Let's you know? do it. Yeah, I like God, it. It just looks so cool. That's We're trying to figure big. out where to put. Yeah, it is too big. big. You could do tail. And I don't think there's enough room for tailgate. The door, dude. It looks cool there. I don't think there's enough room there. Nah, it's nah. too tight. All right, put it over here on the side. Let's see. Let's see what the driver's side door looks like. This is a good truck. Yeah. I like I'm it. I'm almost hoping they take the cash so I, we can just keep it. <laughs> well, you know, you can have this can be your Texas truck. Whenever you come down to visit, this is what you drive you around. Help me out. Just take the cash. <laughs> it's actually pretty clean. I was gonna clean it, but I got some rags. But I think it's clean, huh? Don't wipe it down. Oh, jeez, what the? You got, you got we, we just talk <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's really pretty. So quiet. It's very quiet up here. So Shut up, bird. Don't mess this up. I can't tell, dude. This is a big deal. This, this is a hair longer, so it's throwing me off. <laughs> we have three shirts. This shirt, the smiley face shirt, and then Roman's, this is this is the one, yeah. This shirt. Any of those shirts that you buy, you are entered into winning this truck. There's link in description to all three shirts. Any shirt you get will get you an entry, and if you get, if you get 100 shirts, you get 100 entries, so. That's crazy. Dang. All right, that looks awesome. Heck yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this is like made for this truck, dude. It looks really good. It looks so sick. And Roman and I are actually going on a trip tomorrow and we had talked about driving this oh truck my so and cool. my white truck two states over to go on this trip. It was like 16 hours. It was 16 hours in a normal car <laughs> that goes 75 on the highway. I, I didn't hit 60 today. No, I don't, oh, I don't think this thing will do 70. It's got big tires and it's jacked up. Mine will do 70. This one, I don't think it will, but it, Everything under like 65, it runs great. <laughs> it's loud now too. Well, it is super so loud. loud. Anyway, it's a good truck. This is gonna go to one of you guys and it's, you're gonna fall in love with Toyota just like we have. I've literally fallen in love with They're this They're beefy truck, trucks. It's Sometimes the mufflers just fall out of them. It's, it's not a, a big deal. It's a toy. It it's is a, a toy. toy. It should not be your daily driver, but you probably will wanna drive it daily because it's so good. Big stuff with Bunker, big stuff with Roman. I'm glad you came down. I'm really excited about all the stuff that's happening. It's so exciting. And. Hope you guys are excited too. And we have a lot of other big plans that you don't know about. Like, we're, we're gonna see how this first launch goes, but like, I have a feeling Bunker 3.0 may be having to happen sooner rather than later because this guy is an animal. <laughs> we'll see. We're also, we have some new creators that we're talking about bringing on board too with this. Bunch of new stuff coming in the pipeline for Bunker branding, but. Get your entry for this truck. It's going to one of y'all, and this is a bad rig right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Look at that view, holy cow. It's stunning. I don't remember what I was talking about. Stunning. Thank y'all so much for watching this episode of Off The Ranch. I love you, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>